everyone! Today I wanted to share with you guys how I do my nails at home. I do this with Gel X, so it's like the nail glue that you brush onto the tip and you put under the UV light, but you can do this with regular nail glue as well. I learned how to do my nails during COVID and I've been wanting to show you guys how I do them at home, but just figuring out the angles and the lighting for you guys has just been my main concern. So hopefully this video does it justice. I hope you learned something from it. And doing nails for me is like so therapeutic and fun, so I hope you find it fun as well. These are the nails I'm doing in this video. They're super spring and fun and I love the bright color. So if you wanna see how I do my nails at home, keep on watching. So before we get into the nails, I just wanted to say thank you to Beatles Gel Polish for sending me this package. I swear by their gel polish. I am so excited that they sent me some product. I have so many nail polishes of my own. They are the only brand that I use, as you can see here. I probably have over 200 nail polish colors by them. So this is not biased. This is not paid. I seriously swear by them and I am so grateful that they wanted to send me stuff. So back to what was in the box, they sent me some spring gel polish colors, they sent me a little accessory kit with a buffer, a nail file, some tweezers, they sent me their top coat, matte top coat, and their base gel, along with this cuticle oil. They also sent over their UV and LED light, along with these really pretty gel liners that I cannot wait to use, and their Beatles nail tips. Starting with the nail prep, I have a nail drill, but obviously you can just use like a buffer or a nail file to do this. I just buff away any residue, any oils off the top of my nail, just to get the nail prepped for the nail glue, that way it stays on your nails longer. I am using Beetle's refillable nail tips. These are in the medium almond shape. I hate getting thick nails on Amazon and they come in a big box with like 20 different sizes and then you go ahead and waste half of the sizes. They did a really good job at doing a no tip waste refillable pack. It's one size per pack, so you can go ahead and restock your most used nail tips that you love. Prepping the actual nail, I like to buff the underside of the nail to give it a little bit more grip to the nail glue, and then I push my cuticles back. Now for nail glue, this is the Beatles Gel Polish Nail Glue. This is going to be how we do Gel X nails. This is a cute little nail lamp. It's the perfect size for just curing one finger at a time. Using this glue, I like to go ahead and put some on my actual fingers first, then cure it for just 10 seconds. Going back to the actual nail, I like to put a little bead size just at the base and then fill in the rest of the way to where I think my nail will end. Then pressing down cuticle first, I go ahead and place the nail. Then we're gonna go ahead and cure that for the full 60 to 90 seconds. These are my nails, they're super long, so I decided I wanted to go ahead and file them. They're a little bit shorter now, but still the cute almond shape. I like to buff the top of the nail so that shine gets off and gets it ready for the gel polish. So we're gonna start off with the Beatles base gel and just put it on every single finger, of course. Then we're gonna go ahead and cure that for the full 60 to 90 seconds. Starting with the first color, I'm using this beautiful blue color and just painting it on only the thumb and the pinky finger. I'm gonna do a cute little design. Then I go in with this nude color. Um, I don't remember the shade or what it was called, but they have a bunch of like clear nudes you can use and I'm putting that on the three other fingers. I like to get acetone on a brush and clean up the sides, that way no gel builds up around the finger. Then we're gonna go ahead and create this French tip but with blue. It's gonna be super cute for the springtime. I like to take it from both corners and then kind of meet it in the middle and fill it in. Then taking the color white and this dotting tool, I'm gonna go ahead and create some flowers. So I do five dots. This took me some practice, but I eventually got it. One on the top, two on the sides, and two on the bottom. Then I brush the dots to meet in the middle just to create that flower shape. And I dot the middle with the blue. And then I just repeated it on the other hand. Now for the top coat, this seriously seals the deal. You wanna make sure each finger is coated and doesn't have any air bubbles because sometimes it can kind of clump up if it doesn't set before you put it in the UV light. And we're done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit different for me, but let me know what you think down in the comments.